Lord, Brother Perez, and greetings in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ to you and to all our viewers who are watching us online from all across the world in Pakistan and overseas, Pakistanis and Indians and the people who who usually come onto your channel. So, Brother Perez, all the glory to our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you very much for providing this opportunity to serve and to share the Word of God through your channel. I always watch your channel and love to hear Geet and Zabuz and you are doing excellent job. Well done. Keep it up. And this evening, I want to share a testimony of one of my friends. And we usually see each other. And this testimony is about from God's point of view, from God's perspective. One day I went to see him and as I go see him and sit on his couch, he was grumbling about all the problems, the troubles, the difficulties that he was going through. He had just recently lost his job for no reason. His relationships were in a deep mess. Nobody was trying to understand him. Everything was going wrong and he has done nothing wrong. And all through the conversation, he was kept asking me, Brother Mushir, why is this happening to me? And I'm sure a lot of you can relate to the situation that Brother Frank was going through. I told him, do whatever you can do to sort it out. If it's your fault, try to correct it. And if it's someone else's fault, and that person is within your access, communicate to him. Discuss with him. Very often, however, that we go through is neither our fault nor the fault of someone else. For example, a serious cancer disease we go through. We didn't do anything wrong to get it and nobody else did anything wrong to have us get it. Question is, how do we deal with it? Here's what we do. I want to share with a little boy's story. A little boy once came running to his mother and asked her mom, what you are doing, mom? And mom replied to her son, Son, I am making a beautiful embroidered design, a beautiful pattern on this beautiful piece of cloth, which is securely held in the wood ring, the hoop. The little boy looked up the cloth, securely held in the wood ring, the hoop and complain. Mom, you said a beautiful design, a beautiful pattern. All I can see, Mom, is just some color threads, yellow, blue, red, black, pink, all tangled up, all messed up into each other. All the complications I can see, and you call it a design, a beautiful pattern, mom? The mother picked up her little boy, put him on her lap, and said to him, Now look at it, my son. And the son, the boy, saw a beautiful design, an incredible pattern a systematic plan and a layout evolving on this cloth, securely held in the wood ring, the hoop. The mother said to the boy, when you look at the cloth from your side, all you see is a mess. Some colored threads, yellow, blue, red, black, pink, all tangled up, all messed up into each other all the complications. But when you look at the cloth from my side, all you see is a beautiful design, a beautiful pattern, 
a beautiful plan, a systematic plan and a beautiful layout evolving on this cloth. In Christ, my dear brothers and sisters, I told my friend that when we go through the helpless, overwhelming challenges in our life for no fault of ours or no fault of anybody else, and we cannot do anything to sort it out. If we see and look at it from our point of view, all we see is a mess. All we see is situations. All we see are the events which are tangled up, which are jumbled up to create that mess. But when we look at the same situation from Lord God of Heaven's point of view, important, from God's point of view, we see a beautiful design, we see a beautiful pattern, we see a beautiful plan evolving in our lives on this planet Earth. In fact, my dear brothers and sisters, for a beautiful design of embroidery to happen on one side, you cannot avoid the mess on the other side. And it's not just the nature of the embroidery, such is the nature of life as well. This outlook actually gives us a very deep sense of inner strength and fortitude to face such helpless, overwhelming challenges in our life. Then I say to my friend, Brother Frank, change your vision and your vision will change you. I said to him, trust in the Lord God of heaven our Lord Jesus Christ, the Savior, with all your heart. And lean not on your understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Lord Jesus Christ, and He shall direct your paths. And I am one of His servants to whom He has sent to, uh, to you to share with you His word, His goodness, His mercy, His love. <coughs> Excuse me. That when we were sinners, Lord Jesus Christ died for us. For all our worries, overwhelming challenges, and for all our sins, He shed on the cross by sacrificing the blood of His beloved Son, our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ, for the remission of our sins. And not ours, but the whole humanity. I mentioned him. Did you remember John 3.16? What it says? It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I said to him, your own beliefs and trust and no change in your vision and no change in observing things unto your own wisdom, unto your own knowledge and unto your own understanding will never change your life. As I explained in the example of woodring, the hoop, watching it from bottom from our side, let me simplify from the earth, all we see is just one colored thread, yellow, blue, red, black, pink, all tangled up, all messed up into each other, all complications. I tell, to, tell him, Brother Frank, your belief in trusting Lord Jesus Christ and change in your vision of observing things unto large vision will change your whole life. 
as I explained in the case of wood ring, the hoop from the large side, a beautiful design, an incredible pattern, a systematic plan and a layout evolving on this piece of cloth. So is the case with us. I said, Isaiah chapter 55 verse 88-89 I mentioned brother Frank for my thoughts are not your thoughts nor are your ways my ways says the Lord for as the heavens are higher than the earth so are my ways higher than yours ways and my thoughts than your thoughts I said, Brother Frank, Lord God has a pattern for your life, a unique plan for you and all individuals on this universe. Simply, we have to trust our Lord Jesus Christ and believe on Him. Be your own beliefs your own trust and your vision of looking things into Lord God Lord God's point of view will change your whole life when we are helpless we we have overwhelming challenges in our life for, uh, for no fault of ours or no fault of anybody else and we cannot do anything to sort it out then we have to trust on Him and have a belief on Him. In Christ, my dear brothers, sisters, and my online viewers, trust the Lord God of heaven and change your vision about our overwhelming situations and your trust and belief on Lord Jesus Christ will change your whole life. And in the end, I um, assure Brother Frank how to bow down on your knees and pray. And he, he catch my words and take off his cap from his head and bind his hands. And I finish prayer, praying with an, and with an intercessory prayer for him. Change your vision to change your life. I want to mention one of the Bible uh, verse from the book of 2 Kings 6.13 to 22, I think. And, and read the, the, the underlined verses. 17. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray, open the eyes that he may see. Then the Lord opened the eyes of young man, and he saw, and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. Elisha was surprised watching the chariots of Lord God of heaven. He was very worried about that we are alone, O oh my Lord, Elijah. And Elijah prayed, and Elisha's spiritual eyes were opened, and he saw the Lord God of heaven, and his armies and chariots were there for, their, for his help. When we think our situations, we are alone, and we have no help, but... If we believe, if we trust on the Lord God of heaven, we can see the help is there. The Lord God of heaven's perspective, the things are totally different than how we see from this earth. And Elisha saw the big help of the Lord God of heaven with his armies to fight the the opponents. Look into another example. 
when Joseph was sent to Egypt and he was sold by his brothers but that was for a reason God has a better future holding for us the situation Joseph was facing was terrible his brother sold sell him to the Egyptians but that was for a reason for a cause we have a better future in God's perspective do not worry about the situations you are going through just trust him and go through the situations and he will prosper you at the right time and Joseph was prospered and became the second high in command and when the uh, the star vision comes in he was able to bring his father and his brothers into Egypt and they start living into Jeshan God bless you brothers trust on the Lord God of heaven and he will guide you and he will uh, give you the wisdom knowledge and his understanding change your vision and your vision will change your life God bless.